Hi everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I hope to colour in the month of January. This is the What's My Colouring bag video that I've almost been doing for a year now. Um, so just thank you so much Sammy uh, from Colour Chat Sammy for coming up with this idea and making it into a video because I really do like doing this and as I've started doing last month I kind of categorise my pages in terms of importance of things that I really do want to to do um, and like the the minimum and then uh, again other books that I really do want to work in but you know if I have time I will try and work in them because roughly I get four or five pages done a month so the pages that I share at the beginning of the video hopefully ones that I'm a more risk realistically going to get around to. So let's start with Minor Riser der Europa by Rita Berman. This is one of the two books that I'm focusing on for 2022 and what I have done is I've picked out three pages and I want to try and get one of them done. So I have actually started working on one already so that's probably the one that I'm going to complete this month. I will share it with you now. So it's this one. Now this ship one may turn into being a double page spread, I haven't decided yet, but I started this a few days ago and it's a completely different palette from what I've done before. So I've got my autumnal palette in London and then I've got my floral, autumnal but more colourful um, colour palette and now we've gone to blue. So it's you know really fun to switch it up a bit and do something a bit different and we're not really in the the summer season at the moment obviously we're still in winter here but i just felt like doing this and i was drawn to it so again i'm using black widows and luminance pencils i will start with this side to see how i go and see if i have time to complete this page and then if i don't manage to get to this one i'll do this one over the, the next few months so this one definitely will be the the one that I complete. The other pages that I had as um, you know ideas for ones that I was going to work on this month was this canal one. I love this one, it reminds me of the canal by my grandparents house where they used to live um, and again this could turn into a double page spread so that was an option and then I had this one as well which probably would have just been a single page because I feel like these two pages would probably have separate colour palettes but yeah they were the options again they may be ones that I come to um, in the future so the other book that I'm focusing on for 2022 is I Believe in Fairies by Clara Markova these are Clara's colouring postcards and you'll hear me saying this quite a few times because these are the the books that I'm hoping to work in more or at least keep steadily working in like I have been so the postcard that I've chosen that I would really like to do is this one. Now we're still kind of in the, the winter season, as I said, and I feel like this is quite a good one because it's still in the winter section of the, the postcards, but it's not Christmassy. There are other Christmas ones that I would have really liked um, to, to have done this year, like this Christmas tree. To be honest, most of them, probably aside from this one, the one that I'm hoping to do, and maybe that one, uh, are all Christmassy. So I would really like to, to do this one and I, I think I kind of have some things in mind of what I would like to do. I'd quite like to make this kind of a citrus punch or something like that and do uh, grapefruits and maybe, I don't know, berries and things like that. So I kind of have a colour palette in mind but considering I just did a quite a Christmassy one it would be nice to do something still along that same vein but not that Christmassy and then I thought maybe this one would be quite good for February maybe for Valentine's Day but we'll see if I get get this one done but that's the the one I picked out and with all of these do take them with a pinch of salt because I do tend to change my mind quite a lot so yeah just bear that in mind Okay, so the next page is from the Chiaki Karamomo colouring book. I bought this um, on Etsy from um, Jessica at Stationery Corner. 
I I am very happy with myself because I have actually started the page in here and it is this one so I've been wanting to get around to this page for such a long time and I finally have um, I might not necessarily get it finished this month but I am trying my best to at least start it now the colours that I'm using I'm trying to match up as closely as possible to the picture but it's really difficult to because I was going to photocopy this but then the, the colours just didn't come out very well and they didn't come out exactly the same so what I've had to result in doing is just flicking back and forth which obviously slows down my process a little bit but yeah the, the accuracy of the colours isn't quite there but I don't really mind at the end of the day it's just a fun process and it doesn't need to turn out absolutely identical to this but for example the green for the trees is quite a bit different I'm not sure if you can see but that compared to that it's a lot lighter so I think I'm just going to stick with how I'm doing it for now and then I can always go back and add shadows in later if I want to but I'm using Holbein's for this so it's definitely going to take a while but I thought well it's still a wintry page still fits in with the season and even if I didn't finish it until the beginning of March it doesn't really matter and sometimes we do even get snow in April so yeah it it doesn't really matter and it's a polar bear so you know it's just so cute and I can't wait to work on that more but probably with that one don't expect it to be finished at the end of this month but you never know another whip which again you probably won't um, see finished but I'm hoping to work on a little bit more and I've been saying that um, for a while but I do want to continue with it is my penguin page from Fragile World by Kirby Rosans. This is the one that I'm working on and uh, I was talking with Valentina and she has finished her penguins I think and she's done the, the sky and possibly uh, a bit more but I was working on the rock so I put a base of the pastel down so yeah I, I need to get back to this and uh, yeah continue with it I still don't have a clear image of what I'm going to do I am nervous about the whole bottom bit with the sea because I I don't think I want to do just a blue sea because you know the the reference images that I've seen usually I see some with kind of quite murky water, maybe green in there as well. And especially with the coral, I think I could make that quite interesting. So I will have to research and find some pictures that I think will suit this page. And, um, you know, um, it will be really interesting. But yeah, I, I do want to get the, the rocks done. And even though I haven't got round to it um, over the past while, I, I really do want to get back to it because, uh, again, it, that's not a directly winter page but again it kind of fits with the, the theme so yeah that's what I'd like to do I then have a buddy colour um, in Mythographic Paradise by Fabiano Atanasio this is with Jill and we haven't really set a specific time frame but I would like to get to this one over the next few months I know for some people completing a page and a months you know it's really slow and I am a slow colorist but at the end of the day I really enjoy it and I don't mind if they take me a bit longer and, and generally mythographic pages do take me longer because they're um, more of an in-depth page so typically when I've done them in the past and I haven't actually managed to get around to one for a little while but I'll start it in one month and finish it in the next month now this one is probably the least detailed one I will have done so I could potentially finish it quicker but I'm already you know a week into January at the time of filming this so you know I've got other whips at the moment so I'm not sure if I will finish it but I'm excited to do it um I really liked this page this was one of my favorites in this book and I really do want to to do it and it's one that I mentioned quite a few months ago that I'd like to get around to um and you know it'll be a good book you know an untouched book to to work in and uh sue very kindly sent this to me so obviously i want to work in it so yeah that's that one 
And then these are the three books that ideally I'd really like to get around to, but I'm not sure if I will have time. So we have the Girl Power colouring book by Hachette Heroes. This is one of the, the Disney colouring books that they do, and this is the mini version, which I love. And I was sent this um, by my lovely friend Valentina. And I do really want to work in this for the Disney Birthday Bash colour along which is being hosted by Kate and Zoe um Kate from Kate's Colouring Haven and Zoe from Addicted to Colouring so that's the the hashtag that's giving me motivation to work on this page however if I don't get round to it due to time I'm still going to make all of these well these next three that I'm showing you priorities over the next few months because I have been wanting to get get round to them and See, because Valentina did send this to me for uh, Christmas. I want to show my appreciation and, and work in it. So the one I have in mind is actually the um, the book front cover, the Rapunzel one, the Tangled one. I can't find it now that I'm mentioning it. This is what always happens. I mean, there are so many images in here. But it would be a really fun one to do, this one. I do also really like this one as well but we'll see I'll probably just do whatever comes to mind but I do quite like that one because it's framed and it's not too detailed but yeah they're really sweet so that'll just be a fun and relaxing one I may even use some of my budget pencils that I haven't used for a while because I tend to do that with Disney because well actually unlike this image on the front cover Disney tends to be, for me, more of a kind of just chilled colouring and colour it how you want because the cartoons kind of re resemble that and I think it would just be really fun, like I've done previously, to just not worry about um, shading too much and just have fun, stay true to the colours from the um, animated movies and yeah, see what I can do. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out. Then have the Ken Matsuda colouring book. Again, I was sent um, money from the lovely Joe to um, get something colouring related and I bought this. And the one I had in mind was this bird one. And it's still festive in the sense that it's got the holly and the snowflakes, but it's quite wintry and I probably do all of these birds robins. So that was the one I initially had planned for either this month or next month i do really like obviously all of the other pages but i do like the ladybird as well because as i mentioned it's a slightly less detailed one it would help me get into the the style a bit more easy and um, more easily so that could be a potential one as well so there are so many options in here but i don't want to go for um a really detailed one straight away and the bird one actually is one of the the less detailed ones anyway so that will be a really fun one to do but they're just so gorgeous so yeah we'll see i definitely want to get around to that soon and then the final book i have to share is mine winter spazia gang also by rita berman so this book I think is great because like other things I've mentioned it has a good proportion between winter and Christmas so they're not all Christmassy which I think is great because I I do tend to colour um, you know within the seasons apart from when we have like Christmas in July or when fun hashtags come up where I decide to participate and colour pictures you know not not in the seasons which is always really fun but this one the the pictures in here some of them don't even necessarily need to be coloured during the winter period and for me I always think of winter as kind of the end of November all the way to February I know that's not strictly um, in terms of seasons what it is but I start colouring Christmas pictures in November time so the ones I had picked out were more wintry so I really liked this one so I thought that was just quite a uh, you know, warming, wintry picture. I wasn't sure whether I'd necessarily double it up as a double page spread. But that was one I had in mind. 
and also these birds here so this would i probably do kind of still a, a snowy ground and you know maybe holly berries here um you know still reds and festive colors i guess but still along that wintry thread so these are really just extras if i don't get around to them it's not the end of the world um, but now that i have all of her seasons books and although i'm focusing on minorizer de europa what i would really like is to be able to do a page from each of the books dur during the seasons so if i don't get around to this one i'll try and do one in the the spring one instead uh, maybe in february march time so yeah i just i feel like as well if you may have noticed if you've been watching my channel recently i just have really gravitated towards um rita's artwork and i just love it um it's gorgeous and i'm very excited to have her other books as well because i only recently got this along with the summer and autumn one so yeah i, I would like to really get around to it at some point because i think it's gorgeous so yeah that's everything i have to share with you i hope you enjoyed this video as always i'd love to know what you're hoping to work on during this month um what you've started and um yeah i just really appreciate you watching and commenting and, and supporting me we are really close to 5,000 subscribers which is so exciting and there will be a giveaway um but yeah thank you so much and i will see you all on my next video take care everyone bye